think you can outsmart the market. It's the ultimate challenge, right? But what if I told you there's a way to understand the market's hidden rhythm, to anticipate instead of just reacting? Today, we are going to learn about Elliott Wave Theory and Elliott Wave Oscillator. Let's be honest, trading is tough. You work hard, you build your strategies, but the market throws curveballs, false breakouts, stop losses getting hit, losses piling up. It's frustrating. We are fighting a losing battle. We are always one step behind. We are reacting to markets every move. Like puppets on a string. We don't know why the market does what it does. But what if we could turn the tables? What if we could predict the market's moves instead of just reacting? That's where the Elliott wave comes in. The secret weapon. Let's go back in time. Meet Ralph Nelson Elliott, a smart accountant. In 1929, he got really sick, so had to retire. But this setback led to an amazing discovery. He became obsessed with the stock market. He studied it like crazy, looking for patterns. He analyzed 75 years of historical data, even looking at hourly charts. He wasn't just crunching numbers, he was on a mission to find the market's hidden order. It's secret language. Here's the thing. Elliot was a lone wolf. Everyone else thought the market was random, unpredictable. They laughed at his wave principle. They said he was wasting his time. But Elliot was stubborn. He knew he was on something big. He even predicted a huge market rally, proving his theory had teeth. So what was Elliot's big discovery? He found out that the market moves in waves like the ocean. These follows a specific pattern, a five wave move in the main direction. He called this an impulse and then a three wave correction. It's like the market takes five steps forward and then three steps back. And get this, wave three is usually the strongest and longest. It's the wave you want to ride. Also, wave four doesn't usually overlap with wave 1 and wave 2 will never retrace more than 100% of the wave 1. But here's the catch. Spotting these waves in real time is super hard. The market is messy and confusing. It's like trying to find a specific grain of sand on a massive beach. Most traders get lost and confused. They make mistakes, mislabel the waves and lose money. That's where the Elliott Wave Oscillator comes to the rescue. This amazing tool, which was later created by other smart traders like Tim Joseph and Bill Williams, helps us to see waves much more clearly. They were inspired by the Elliott's genius, but knew that we need a tool to make it easier. Elliott Wave Theory was powerful, but too hard to understand for most of the people. The Elliott Wave Oscillator solved the problem. It's like a wave counting superhero, making the invisible visible. So, how does this Elliott Wave Oscillator work its magic? It's actually pretty simple. It measures market momentum. It takes a 5 period moving average of the prices and subtracts a 34 moving average. This is shown as histogram. Bars that go above and below the zero line. When the bars are above zero and rising, it means the upward momentum is strong. When they are below zero and falling, it means the downward movement is strong. Now, here's a secret sauce. The highest peak on Elliott Wave Oscillator. That usually lines up with the Wave 3, the strongest part of the trend. And when the price goes up but the Elliott Wave Oscillator goes down, that's called divergence. It's like a warning light flashing that the trend might be ending. Here is your battle plan for using Elliott Wave Oscillator with Elliott Wave Theory. First, spot the wave. Look for 5 waves and 3 wave patterns. Use Elliott Wave Oscillator to double check your wave count. Look for that big peak at wave 3. Spot divergence to identify possible turning points. This is your secret weapon to catch the end of wave 5. 
for a good entry you can jump into a trade near the end of a correction like wave 2 or wave 4 when the Elliott wave oscillator crosses the zero line or play it safer and wait for more confirmation after the wave 1 is complete and for a good exit use divergence as your exit signal or take profits near the expected end of wave 3 or 5. Always use a stop loss. Place it below the start of the wave you are trading. For long trades, this is your safety net. This is a sample code you can use or modify. Let's see this in action with a real example. Imagine we spot a 5 wave move up on a stock chart. The Elliott wave oscillator confirms our count with a huge peak at wave 3 just like it should be. We enter a long trade at the end of wave 2. When the Elliott wave oscillator crosses above 0, we set up our stop loss below the low of wave 1, our safety net. Then at the top of wave 5, we see divergence. The price hits a new high but the Elliott wave oscillator doesn't. That's our cue to exit and take our profits. Boom! We rode the wave and made money. If you really want to become an Elliott Wave Master, here are two pro tips. Fibonacci and Channels Waves often have a special relationship with Fibonacci numbers. For example, Wave 3 is often 1.618 times the length of Wave 1. You can use these to predict where the waves might end. It's like having a roadmap for the market. Drawing lines along the highs and lows of waves creates a channel. This helps you see the trend and potential turning points. It's like having the guardrails on the highway, keeping you on track. Here are some common mistakes that can trip you up. Forcing the pattern. Don't try to force a wave onto a chart. If it's not clear, it's not there. The market will tell you the pattern when it's ready. Ignoring divergence. Divergence is a powerful sign. Don't ignore it. It's like market whispering a secret in your ear. No risk management. Always use stop losses. No system is perfect and you will have losing trades. Protect your capital. Let's debunk some myths about Elliott Wave. Myth number one. It's a guaranteed way to make money. Wrong. It's a tool. And like any other tool, you need to learn how to use it properly. There are no shortcuts to success in trading. Myth number two. It predicts the exact length of waves. No. It helps you identify trends and potential turning points. But it doesn't give you a precise timeline. It's about probabilities, not certainties. Myth number three. It's too complicated. It can seem that way at first, but with practice, using it Elliott Wave Oscillator, it becomes very easy to use. So, why you should care about Elliott Wave and Elliott Wave Oscillator? Because they can help you understand market psychology. It's like reading the market's mind, seeing the emotions driving the price action. Spot trends. Identify those strong trends and ride the big waves to maximize profits. Improve timing. Enter and exit trades with a greater precision, like a market ninja. Manage risk. Define your risk and protect your capital. It's all about trading smarter, not harder. You will find the code link in description. And for any clarifications, for any doubts, you can connect with me on one-to-one -one sessions about your algo trading. That's it for Elliott Wave Crash Course. Now you have the tools to decode the market's hidden patterns and become a smart trader. Remember, practice makes perfect. So start analyzing those charts. Apply these concepts and join the wave riders. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what other topics you want me to make videos. Until next time, happy trading. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye, take care, have an awesome day.